Today we're going to be playing with the wax seal of the month and our wax seal stamp is going to have Lily of the Valley, this pretty oval stamp. Uh, yeah, I think that is going to be so nice. And I also included some wax beads. These wax beads are in the color Fern, which I did not already have in my stash. I've already got my wax, see, my wax seal warmer heating up over here. So once it's heated up, we can go ahead and put together a couple of wax seals. I just noticed that it was an oval. I was planning on making some using my silicone mold here. I'm not going to be able to use that for this one because it's oval and these are for round. So I'll get that out of the way but yeah this is gonna be fun so if you've watched any of my wax seal videos you know that I am loving this little wax seal warmer that I got off of Amazon it is big enough and it heats enough so I can put more than one spoon on top and it comes with another little a little pot if I choose to do a lot of wax seals at once this would work great I'm not going to do that many right now I want to do it for a card so I'm only going to put a few of the wax beads in so I'm just going to put in four now you can also use the tea light warmers my experience with tea light warmers because I live in Florida and we always had the air conditioning on is that the tea lights were constantly getting blown out so my wax was never getting hot enough I was having to reheat and uh, anyway it was taking forever to do a lot of that as you can see this is already hot enough so it is melting that wax perfectly already now one of my spoons did still have some wax in it so I heated it up and I poured them out on the side so I would not have a mixture of colors and then I just used a paper towel to wipe out uh, any of that excess that was still in the spoon so once this is done melting, we can pour them out to create, <laughs> pour them out and create this pretty thing here. Now, one other thing, if you have, if your wax stamp is too warm, it's gonna, this, the wax is not going to solidify like it needs to and it's gonna take longer and it's possible that your design is gonna really look yucky because the wax sticks to this. So I've got a little glass of water, a little, Actually, this is a little shot glass uh, made out of metal, so it's going to hold the coldness really well, filled with cold water. So I can cool this off in between and then wipe it off to get all the water off before doing my next stamp. So let's go ahead. This one looks pretty good. And this time I'm just using the solid color, but you could also mix in other colors that you have in your stash. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and stamp that down. There we go, and I'm gonna wipe the, the lip of this one because it did drip over a little bit. Okay, I tried pulling it up and this is not ready yet. It's pretty cool around the stamp itself, but not on the rest of the silicone mat, so I need to wait. This is a heat resistant mat. This one is actually a, an oven mat that we got off of Amazon a long time ago. My mother-in-law got that for me because I was doing a lot of resin and this cleans up so super easy. So I'm just gonna let that cool for a minute and then we can pull it up, take a look and make another wax seal. There we go, that turned out perfect. Let's go ahead and make another one. Now I should have done that cooling bit first, but this should still turn out okay, I think. And that one turned out perfect too. So one thing I like to do with the excess, because you always have a little bit of wax left over, I'm gonna combine it into bo both spoons into one, and then I'm gonna use that to make some little, wa basically some wax enamel beads enamel dots. So they're additional embellishments for my card and they are super quick and easy to do and you can do whatever size you want. You just put down as much wax as you want and they're going to automatically have that dome top and that way you don't waste any of the wax and you don't have to wait until the next time that you're making wax seals to use it. So next I pulled out some of the panels that I made using the embossing folder of the month and decided to go with some dark colors for this. 
I also went into my uh, my stash of pre-cut things that I got. It's basically where I cut extra <laughs> with other kids. All of these are from Spellbinders. I will see if I can find where the different um, different ones are from, but. I would say use what's in your stash. I'm sure you, like me, have already cut out lots of extras of things that have not yet been used, right? So I kind of have decided that the design I want to do, and look, I think I'm probably going to just go with the two, two vines there and then our, yes, I like that, um, our wax seal and then our sweet sentiment so i'm going to go ahead and hear these panels down onto card bases and that way they'll be ready to go for all of the rest next i'm going to add my little swags on there And I'll put this right about there. I'm also going to add a big bit of glue underneath it. You could use glue dots, whatever. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. I do have some um, wax seal stickers. I picked these up from Amazon. Um, one thing I don't like about this brand of them is that there's no tab on here for taking the release paper off, so it is a little bit finicky to use, but they're still gonna work for what we're doing here. And um, Spellbinders does have some that have the have the um, tab so it's easier to remove. Um, but what I'm gonna do for these, I'm gonna just use my craft knife to cut through that release paper on the back and pick it off. These are basically just giant glue dots that are on the back and it does make it easier to use your wax seals. That way you don't have to bring out your wax seal stuff when in the middle of the card you can just grab one of your pre-made ones and add it to your project. There we go and then I'll just add some glue behind our sentiment. So this one says, just a note to say thanks. So there is our first card done. So it kind of looks like a Brad. And I think that's probably enough for that card. For this one, I am gonna add a couple of little dots, I think over here in the corner, just to add a little bit of extra interest. And we can do the same thing on this one. So I think these all turned out fantastic and working with wax seals is always so much fun.